Well, hi everybody. We're gonna turn you around here. Oh, there we are. Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm Kevin. I'm Heather. And we're going live today because we've got a we've got a, a helpful, a little helpful ditty for you. We'll call it a ditty. For those of you who are missing an essential piece of baking, this lady has got it figured out. Tell them what we're doing, my okay, love. So, let me give you a little backstory. backstory. So yesterday, I needed, I was making biscuits, and in my house, I have to, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to triple the recipe because all the time on everything on every, ever. Ex- Especially biscuits, because um, my kids would only ever eat that for the rest of their lives. So um, I used all of my baking powder, and I sent my children to the store to get more baking powder. They're like, there isn't any. So now I will not take credit for this because I had to look at it. Hi, Homestead. But I looked up their substitute. Wait, hold on, hold on, don't freeze past this. You make your own baking powder right in your home. Yes. Well, all right, so what are the primary ingredients that we have Okay, there? so the primary ingredients, and I got this recipe from uh, Mommy Potamus. So if, I'll try to remember the Mommy name. Potamus? Yeah, I'll Not try. Table no, Mommy Potamus. What about Daddy Potamus? A, I don't know if there's, there's a mommy pot of this, but there's not a daddy. Mama, I don't know. Well, maybe there is. We'll, but, we'll um, discover that later. I got it from her website. And so, what it is, is your baking soda. And that appears uh, backwards. Yeah. Your cream of tartar. Oops, wait. Cream of tartar. Tartar. Yeah. Tartar. Which most people like, Hi, you Mom. either don't have this or it's somewhere in the back of your cabinet because you only use it to make like meringue. That's the only thing I could think of. I'm like, cream of tartar, what do you use cream of tartar for? Do you use it in tartar sauce? (coughs) Nope. Wait, wait, you have tartar sauce. I or tartar powder and it doesn't go in tartar sauce. No, I think it's it's spelled different. I think tartar sauce is not, it has an E on the end. Oh. So, anyway, I think you're right. I don't know. Uh, And then the next thing you're going to need is cornstarch. You can use arrowroot if you're not, because some people don't use cornstarch. That's all you need. So, that, so you're going to make baking powder from these ingredients right here. So if they're out of it at the grocery store, this is an opportunity. And by the way, uh, lift up that baking soda for a minute. That is what's made in Wyoming. Yes. Uh, baking powder, baking soda yes. is made from soda ash, which is grinded down from Trona, which is uh, uh, mined just miles away from where we live. Yes. In fact, there's a mine that runs right under I uh, the, under the highway. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. All right. So here we go, guys. This is going to be super duper easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, and I have myself a little jar here. Should I hold the camera here? Let me hold the camera, yeah. and I'm going to turn it around okay. so you guys can see. Sorry, guys. Oops, that's yep. feeling. That's not good. So I'm going to hold okay. it so you can see what's going on here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take. Two tablespoons. Sorry, guys. I'll try not to do much. Two. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Patrick. Okay, Hi, Alicia. Soda. You're going to need three, uh, I'm sorry, four tablespoons of your cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. We can see your hand. Sorry, I'm... She's left-handed, guys, so that's why she's doing it that way. Her and I always have a friendly banter about it because she can't pour things right I don't know how to tell you, it all comes out on me and then I Life in the UP. Hold on, I gotta now cream of tartar is a little bit like it get it bunches up kind of like cornstarch does. Yeah. I'm always afraid I'm gonna pour more in than what I need. Oh my god. Like, like that. There you go. Oh, what was that? I don't know. That's I three. You three. Ah! Good. Okay. Are we going to start over again? No. Oh. Four. All right. So, so four tablespoons, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Or teaspoons? Tablespoons. tablespoons. All tablespoons. All tablespoons. This is all tablespoons. So if you don't, like, need this much or you need more, just remember it's um, one part, like, one part of baking soda, corn starch, two parts of the cream tartar. So. Mm-hmm. 
Cream so I've got two tablespoons of baking soda. I'm going to have two tablespoons of cornstarch, and I'm going to have four tablespoons of a cream of tart. So we're going to This is baking powder. Yep. All right. So, or a baking powder alternative. Baking powder guys. alternative. So, so it's not technically baking powder. I, I, I'm not sure because I don't really know what's in baking powder, but I this was a highly uh, uh like it was like a five star recipe. Yeah. So that's the wrong way to get anything with that food. grocery store is out, now you know what to do. Now, have they been running out of cornstarch and tartar sauce? Or tartar? Cream tar at, cream honestly, like, whenever I see it at the grocery store, like, it's always full. Because hmm. most, like I said, most people, like, I don't particularly care for meringue, so right. I don't want to make it. Right. I needed it for something one time. That's why I have it. I can't remember what it was for, but it was not for meringue. It was for something else. And you made biscuits with this yesterday. And if you guys follow Heather on Instagram or uh, Facebook, she showed a picture of it, and they yeah. turned out fantastic. So it's not just it's not just a gimmick. It actually works. Yeah. You yeah. know, we see a lot of things on the internet uh, that don't really work. This is a great uh, substitute and works. The other thing that works that I've used numerous times mm -hmm. is if you don't have buttermilk, you can take either lemon juice or white vinegar and you put a tablespoon of it in and then you fill the rest of it up to like a cup and that will make you buttermilk. So now, did you use it in our bread? Uh, oh yeah. Okay. No, I actually used our buttermilk that our butter. Oh, okay. So, um, buttermilk from the butter. Did you have to add vinegar to that? I did not. Okay. No. Sometimes you make. And my biscuits came out and they were like that big. Don't you don't you make a, a alternative butter milk too? That is, that was it. No, I mean with the vinegar. That just said that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was focused on this. This is distracting me a lot right now because this got made while I was taking a nap, and so I walk in and this is there. So, yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be very hard for me not to eat this entire loaf of bread. I had my kids come in and go, can I have a piece of that bread? I'm like, no. Wouldn't you want to eat this? There's that. The, uh, the sandwich bread is still there. You have to eat that. There's first. nothing better than a warm baked bread. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, that is like, that's on the, that's on the, that's on the docket for breakfast. Yeah. I'm going to make these, I'm going to make giant homemade sausage patties and I'm going to uh, have sausage patties on that homemade bread. Oh, my land. This is a phrase from. <laughs> Brad, uh, I just yeah. love it. It's just amazing. Hi, Amy T. How are you? Yay! Yeah, you got all the awesome. time. Yes. Yes. So yeah. good to see you. Uh, well, thanks for sharing that with us, baby. You have any other shortcuts or tips that we need to know while we're going through um, self quarantine? What are some of the ones that I use? Like I said, I use I use the buttermilk one all the time. And, and like I said, anyone who just joined us, like I just made baking powder. Because our store yep. was out of it. Yep. So that like I can't help you with flour unless you have your own wheat dough, berries in it. And no. <laughs> I don't have an alternative for that. Well we could, but, but it's really um, hard. So what was what was in the baking powder was uh, two tablespoons of baking soda, four tablespoons of cream of tartar, and uh, two tablespoons of so there's it. Still alive and kicking down here, doing the self-isolation thing here as well. Is this thing hitting Australia the same way it's hitting in America? I mean, it kind of started as this tongue-in-cheek thing, and now it's kind of exploded into, hey, you need to stay away from people. Yeah. So I wonder if Australia is getting hit with so, it, too. Yeah, so two tablespoons of baking powder. Uh, yes. Four tablespoons of cream of tartar. And then two tablespoons of either cornstarch or, or arrowroot yeah. uh, powder. Arrowroot powder. So cornstarch or arrowroot powder. powder. Yeah. So cornstarch is probably more readily available. Yeah. Okay. So, but 
and that makes you baking powder. So like I said, if you need um, buttermilk for uh, like every cup of buttermilk, you put in like a tablespoon and then you fill the rest of the way to a cup. And that's how you make buttermilk. You have to let it sit. I would let it sit in the refrigerator for like 10 minutes or so. And then it'll thicken up and it'll start to curdle. Awesome. Um, yeah, are your kids still homeschooling as usual? Yes, we are. We are so, like, it's funny because, like, I think I said this last yeah. time, like, I was built for quarantine because I'm, like, not a super people person. <laughs> I like getting out and I like seeing people, so it's been kind of hard for yeah. me. But I, I've had to, I've had a different rhythm of life now just because I hurt my leg. And yeah. so I've had to kind of lay low and keep it cool and that kind of thing. But I gave a sermon this morning and I feel like it went pretty well. Um, and I, I did that standing, and yeah. so uh, my knees do it pretty good. But yeah, we're self quarantining because, well, it's yeah, the whole school we, way. <laughs> yeah. And, um, our, like, I mean, our, that's just so normal for us. So um, for sure, and it's working out fine. That's right. Um, well, guys, there's your uh, quick ten minute uh, spiel on how to make your own homemade baking powder. Powder, baking powder, baking yeah. powder. If you guys would check out our channel for other things, there's some great uh, other products out there that uh, you can do right at your home. Yeah. Other recipes yeah. you can do right at your home, and it's a great time to start uh, cooking. The ones that I did, like just recently, was I did I did butter. Um, I have like videos on like I did making your own sausage, um, and some of these are like a lot less hard than you actually think they are. Oh. You know, I've done canning videos. Like, if you can make jelly from jams and stuff like that in a, in a water bath. You don't have to have a pressure canner for those. Those are a lot uh, easier to do. Um, All right. All right. <laughs> it says, not as bad. Our numbers are only bad in two states, but every state is in lockdown. Western Australia isn't too bad, but I've been staying safe at home for a few weeks now. But Hubby is the central worker. Uh -huh. Okay, Thrift, Thrift VG, how are you? Thrifty VG, how are you? Um, uh, Patrick, yes, we will we will get this in the mail right away. Trade some if barbecue. you're going to trade yeah. some barbecue for that, yeah. I'm in, man. I, I tell you, the only the biscuit that he does, yeah. oh my God. The only, I mean, there's some drawbacks about having uh, friends who have been <laughs> stupidity, stupidity brought out. Oh, good. I'm but I mean, you're in a high, higher population area. I mean, we, we have one case of it where we are in our county, and yeah. that's it. And I keep checking on when we only have one I love, case of it. So, sorry, yeah, sorry. I love our, our YouTube community, but one of the hardest things is we're friends with some great cooks. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can't share food at all because by the time it gets to us, it'll be cold. <laughs> and bad. And, 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 <laughs> Possibly bad. Yeah. And so uh, I, I wish I could get some hot, uh, some hot uh, ribs. Yeah. Uh, hot ribs sent to us. Um, a few cruise ships coming here that we have to deal with and help the passengers get better or get home. Apparently they were turned away from countries and states, so that's our big concern here. Oh, I bet it is. Yeah. Um, that is scary. I, I didn't. I, I have a I have a friend whose mom is on a world tour on a cruise ship right now. She's been on it for months, and there's nowhere that'll let them come in and dock because of the coronavirus. They can they can port in a bay and have stuff shipped in, like stuff sent to them. But I, I'm telling you right now, even if you paid me, and I, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, so. Someone actually offers this, I will actually respond. You could not pay me to go on a cruise. No, no, I. You didn't. could not pay me to go on a cruise. Um, there's just no, I had, there's no desire in my world to be locked in a tin box with uh, what a hundred other people or something like that. <laughs> no, I'm not. More than that, no. The cruise ships need to shut down. None allowed here until July the first. Wow, that's all time. They extended our time here in Wyoming to April 17th. Yeah, so, so we to, we're yeah. going to be in some quarantining, which, yeah. by the way, that's just a weird term. Quarantining. Quarantine. It almost sounds like a drink. Uh, so far, they've had one death last week in our little town. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. 
Their, their town, I think, is probably about the size of ours. Is, uh, that's I don't remember that's tough. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. Well, uh, do we have anything else, my love? I don't, unless anybody has any questions. So, oh, wait, I do. Miles, oh. bring me the stuff that I need. Oh, yeah. Bring me the stuff that I need. She's had time to uh, get back into the... Andy and the other ones. There. The, the holders. The holders, yeah. Handles. Yeah, so it's, uh, she's had some time to crochet and get some new uh, things rolling. Yeah, so I've had to, my, my, I keep making these and these are kind of like socks. Like they keep going missing. So I've had to make me new pot holders. Can you so. say Titanic? Um, no thanks, bros. <laughs> we have a few solutions. This is the well people are going to be put on one of our holiday islands just off the coast for a few weeks. And if they are still okay, then they will be flown home after okay. that. Okay. Cool. So, All right. That's so I've good. been making new pot holders for me and a, and a new color because I got, finally got plates that all. Those are really pretty. Yeah. I just have to tell you. And so I've got the bigger like one, you. and then this one's a slightly smaller. And then I also have these here, which I learned to make from. These go on the end of your cast iron uh, pans. Um, I learned how to make these from Heidi over at Rain Country Homestead. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I have this, I made me a new, yeah, our old little, yeah, yeah. and like this was a little different because like I was having problems with them wanting to turn it inside out, and so I got a new pattern, and so this is, you know, like I have meant to put things Bye, whoever so, wants it, thanks for tuning in, but, um, enjoy your supper. But yeah, so that's what, that's the thing that, that's one of the things I've been working on when I've been self-quarantining. Yes. So I was actually thinking about doing a video, if you guys want, on how to make these and how to make this. So cool. Um, we'll see. Those may be coming down the pike. Yep. And oh. the chickens have been laying eggs too. Yeah, we've been like seven. Wow. I yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh man, that means seven of them are laying. Yeah, I saw. Now. I saw. We have nine. So one golden lace wine dot. Wow. Um, no, gold, yeah, golden lace wine dot was sitting in the box. I need so. to go check out. I haven't seen them today. I was at the church early this morning, and so. Yep. Yeah. All right. Which, guys. like, by the way, guys, if you don't, if you can't go to church on Sundays, you can always um, join us on the Green River Alliance Facebook page Sunday mornings at um, 1045 Mountain Time. Now you have to figure out. Yeah, you have to do math that. on your own. Um, We're not doing that. So I think if it was 1045 our time. Crystal's in Central Time, so that would be. Is it wait? She would be 11:45. How is the baby quilt coming? The baby quilt is coming. I'm still working on it. I'll show you. Hold on. Let me go get it. Oh, um, I did not know that country. I did not know that that country western singer died. Um, but it doesn't surprise me. I bet a lot of people are getting hit by this thing. Would love to learn how to make the finger mitts. The finger mitts. Okay. And that's Darlene Thomas. Yeah. I'll try that. So. Um, All right. So check this out. Don't get it in your powder. There yeah. you go. There it is right here, and I've gotten, um, let's see, you always start in the middle of your quilt. I know, I gotta see where I am. So I've gotten, um, we look here, this is the middle, so like this whole row right here is done, and I'm on the last section here. Yep. To do. So it's coming along, it's slowly but surely, and I sometimes I have to switch between pro projects because I'm a little like my grandmother was where she would get bored with a certain thing and she'd have to move to something else I and, then go, and then go back to that. <clears throat> so um, so I've been working on, like I said, the, the crochet and stuff and the quilt at the same time. I kind of have to go back and forth because I'm turning old. <clears throat> I'm having issues with my thumbs. And I think it's maybe the repetitiveness of the crocheting and stuff like that. I'm actually having to have my son's open jars for me. I've never had that problem before. So, um, but yeah, so that's, that's what we I got. Saw, um, I have to tell you, I was looking at Patrick and Crystal's website or a video page and I saw them on their motorcycle. Yeah. And I thought, get your motor running. That's what that, I, I can't ride a motorcycle. I don't have the ability, the balance, that kind of thing. But man, you guys look like you're having fun. That would look like a fun thing. We almost went on a drive out in the desert today, but I just couldn't do it because of my knee. Yeah. Well, because, because he was standing 
I don't tell on me. I am going to tell on you. Don't tell on me. You shouldn't have been. I, I, I gave it and I said, okay, you can do your sermon in front of the church at the pulpit and everything. And I thought he would like me sit on the stool or something. He stood the whole time without his crutches. And then he's like, man, he really hurts. I'm like. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I know uh, some of you are sports fans. And as sports fans, when you go to your favorite team sporting events and you're in the front row, you don't just sit and go, well, you know, this, that, and the other. And that. When you're when you're uh, at a sporting event, you stand up and you cheer and you celebrate, you talk about it, and you get passionate about it. Well, when we are at worship, we're at the front row and we're right there in front of God, and I can't sit down and deliver the word. It's a, it's almost an impossibility for me to do that because I'm so passionate, I'm so excited to be in front of the and, and I understand all it's of that. It's hard. It's very hard to sit, but. But I paid a price for it with my knee. So. You, you hurt your knee on Tuesday. So. I did. I did. I, I have a possible torn meniscus. So, I, I don't want him standing on it. I want him to. Uh, hi, out of Goshen. How are hi, you? Out of Goshen? Uh, it's going okay. We're just talking about. We just came on for a few minutes because we want to show people how to make baking powder. Baking powder. So. Baking powder. And again, so. I'll go over it again. It's two tablespoons of baking soda, four tablespoons of cream of tartar, tartar, and then two tablespoons of cornstarch or arrowroot powder. Now show them what it looks like on your nose. And then that's what it looks like. That's where it turns you put out it in to the be. Jar, you shake it up like this to get it all incorporated. Yeah. Because and the reason I did this is because my store was all out of it. So <laughs> when the game is on, the game is on, Heather. I get it, Kevin. That's Amy T. Um. P and C and says, I dream of riding to see you guys for my iron backside ride. Have to do thousand miles in twenty four hours. Wow. Yeah. And you and you have to also not only do you have to pack all of your stuff, all of Crystal's stuff, but you have to pack as much ribs as you possibly can. So there's there's a lot to bring with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you, just just so you know, uh, Patrick, I was driving from uh, Bozeman uh, to where we live. And most of that drive is desert, but it's right beside Yellowstone National Park. It's beautiful. Oh, and it, the desert's beautiful. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's like it's like walking onto the set of Star Wars. Yeah. It, I it, believe, it's incredible. I may be wrong, but I think Mount Goshen's been in Yellowstone. Probably. They've been all over the place. They've been everywhere. Right? We love watching yeah. people travel. We love the they were traveling all over the place. Yeah. So that was always and so when we were when we were traveling back and forth, or when I was traveling back and forth, I saw at least 500 head of pronghorn. Mm -hmm. At least. I didn't see any elk. I wish I wish I could have seen some elk, man. That would have been cool. Yeah. Um, That's the one thing that we haven't seen so far. We've yeah. seen buffalo. We've seen um, the pronghorn antelope. We've seen cool, the deer so cool. in this town. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I saw a moose. Oh yeah. Not five minutes from our house. So cool. That was the moment that that I realized uh, I'm not in Ohio anymore. I'm sorry, but it was awesome. We saw a moose. It didn't. It didn't have a. You know. So it was female. Uh, well, or young. Or young. And it was gorgeous. It was the biggest moose I think I. Well, it's the only moose I've ever seen. <laughs> there it is. But um, that uh, it, it was cool. And there are no, there are uh, one of the things that if you watch any of our videos while we've been here in Wyoming, you know that we have wild horses in Wyoming, like tons of wild horses, and uh, they are everywhere. We, I am fascinated every time we see a herd of wild horses. It yeah. is gorgeous. That, that's that's something that's very unique. that's pretty cool. That's and, um, pretty stinking cool. Yeah. Um, but we have a, we have, we've had a couple of trips where uh, we've been able to drive down a, a, a mountain pass, and you go up on this one mountain, and there's horses, just roaming, roaming yeah. free, free doing their thing. Yep. So yeah, we live we live near a lot of buttes. Yes. There's a yeah. lot of different buttes, and so we we. Uh, we don't want to uh, we don't want to miss any of it, so we get my four by four going and we go through. But 
Man, that was so cool seeing that moose, I gotta tell you. That was awesome. Anyway, hello, uh, we're gonna, we are going to do more travel then. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, no way dream to see a moose in person. I know it is. And I didn't even get to see it in person. I saw it while we were driving. You, know? you don't want to meet him in person because they can be. Cause I remember I, I saw them like. Um, they got a little bit of that. When I was in high school, I went up and I did like a yeah. canoe trip to the Boundary Waters in Minnesota. And they're all over the place. Yeah. You know? And I probably saw, I don't know, five, six, seven of them. Yeah. And um, the one thing that the person that was kind of our guy told us is like, do not approach them. They are mean. Yeah. <laughs> they are mean and they will kill you. So. And that's true with the bison too. I yeah. Mean, um, oh, yeah. Do we have deer? Yes, we have a ton of deer. We have a ton of deer outside in the desert. We have a ton of deer here in the city. Um, and in this little small town that we live in, there are probably 100 head of deer. 100 head of deer. And we call them townies because they just kind of look yeah. scraggly. But. Well, the, the story is, is that there was a lady in town who fed them, and now they won't migrate. Right. And so, and they're funny looking too because of their, their mule deer, which we're not used to. We have white tailed deer in Ohio. White tail. And like mule deer always look like they they have constant <laughs> like their fur is all like sticking up everywhere and they're weird looking. So. Darlene Thomas, how are you? Uh, she says, Wow, that what fun for you. We see elk sometimes on in, on our son's yard. He lives on the northern Oregon coast. Oh, you know wow. what's interesting is uh, we went to, we lived in Ohio where people would vacation south of Florida mostly. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while they go to South Carolina or Virginia, but there's quite a few that basically vacation to Florida yeah. or, you know, to the ocean. Here people go to Oregon. That's the yeah. 12, it's actually 12, I don't know, it's a little longer than 12 hours, but it's one of the, it's the closest ocean, so. Um, we we hear a lot of stories about how people are making plans to take their kids to the ocean, and I'll tell you, I really have a desire to see um, the the Pacific Ocean. I, I don't necessarily see need to see it from maybe the California vantage point, but boy, it would be cool to to say I I've been there, you know, and done it. So um, I have to tell you that's that would be cool. I find your animals so interesting. We have none of that. But you guys have interesting animals in Australia. The only the bad thing, the, the thing, bad thing, I'm just going to say that the bad thing about animals in Australia is every one of them wants to kill people. <laughs> yeah. But we have, we have the same kind of things here, like the sand puppies. Oh, God. Hey, yeah. no, the, okay. no, okay. You would think sand puppies would be something cute. Much. And they're not. They're like this fiery, roachy, like weird thing. And they're, oh, and, and like, they, yeah, they'll bite you and they can stick a parasite in you. And they're not they're fun. Much. And then we have pygmy rattlers, which are more potent than mm -hmm. uh, regular rattlers. Yeah, those are not fun. Those are not fun at all. Koalas are cute. And you would love to see one. I, I don't know that they're, they have big claws. They, they're clawy. It's like the rabbits. Rabbits are cute until you hold one and, and it's fresh. And then they scratch, you out of your arm. <laughs> You always have to have like a heavy sweater on. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I, I have this to... just did. <laughs> sure, my mommy was trying to it. My grow bags are coming this week, and my potato grow bags are. So there will be a video at some time of me starting my plants. You know, I technically probably shouldn't start them yet because we can't plant to. to it would be cool though. We saw a video um, on coal. Coal. What are those things called? Um, coal frames. Coal frames. It would be so cool if we could like get coal frames going. Well, I mean, it, that's that's something I like kind of question doing because we rent where we are living. Well, we can make them temporary. Temporary. We can make them movable. You know? Yeah, but then we have to build raised beds for them to build on. Well, not not necessarily. But the coal frames are around the bags. Okay, maybe. Make them tall enough so that they can start growing. Maybe. Yeah. Let's maybe. See. This is a great idea, people. I'm gonna get behind it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, really. I don't know what that is, but it, it, yes. So yes, those bags are gonna be pretty cool, and we have every intention of starting our garden soon. Um, I and I have to go to a zoo to see a squirrel. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> well, you're not missing much. We have. They're all over Ohio. It's like, tree rats. Yeah, they're like disease-infested squirks, squeamers. 
Oh. Um, we have squirrels, and I think they're cute. Heather calls them tree rats. Well, they're just what, where we live in Ohio. They're so there are so looking. many of them. So many, and and they would dig up your plants and eat them. And, or true. they would dig. This is what made me so bad. Oh, it made me so bad. Is they would dig up my onions, realize they didn't like onions, and just uproot them and leave them. Yeah. And I'm like, That's oh, so like I. I was allowed to shoot squirrels in the city limit. I totally would, and I would have thrown them things out of them. So, uh, if we had a, if we had a huge privacy fence, we could set some traps. But yeah, well, we have still a, illegal. We have a huge privacy fence now, and no squirrels. Yeah, so. they, here it's cute. prairie dogs. Oh yeah, those were interesting. Those were really cute. Yeah, prairie they, dogs were new. Yeah, well, and it was funny because the people live here, they're like, yeah, they're great, unless you're riding a horse and your horse is foot caught in the hole. Um, I just want to make a mental, uh, just make a note that on our website you'll see a mailing address. Don't use that. That's I'm not correct. Um, for some reason, when we go live, it has a live. We have a preset that puts our old, old, old address. We're not going to be putting any uh, addresses together. So, um, they will eat your house. Also, mom says. Oh yeah. For sure, they will. They will dig into your house. There's no, there's very few raccoons here. Yeah. I have seen a dead one on the highway though, so I know Which they is are funny good. because Ma, when we were staying with my mom, we had a raccoon caught in the she had a raccoon caught in the chimney, and it like scared the living daylights. Oh out my of gosh, us. that was so funny. That was so funny. We kept hearing the scratch, 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 so we take the thing off, and there's its beady little eyes looking at us, and up the chimney it goes. We don't have squirrels apart from near the birth zoo. And I think ours a much smaller than your are much smaller than yours as they are super tiny. Yeah. Oh wow, like that big. Ours are are you like lengthwise are probably the size of a rat. They're probably like yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so well, our 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 happy little five minute video has successfully turned into a half an hour. Guys, thanks for watching. We will be going live throughout the week as we come up with more fun things to talk about. We hope that you'll tune into our channel and please like subscribe and share um, don't forget to comment at the bottom skate for the savior ministry skateboard original hey tim how are you um we we're going to say goodbye and thanks for tuning in you guys have a great and day. remember that if you can't find something chances are if you i mean google sometimes is a great thing or old cookbooks if you have an old cookbook around you can find things where you can exchange um one thing for another or you yeah. can make your own, like I said, buttermilk, baking powder. Thing. Maybe I'll do some research and do a video on yeah. just some of those like little things. You can Google our videos, too. I yeah. don't know if you knew that or not, but if you want to see Heather making something, you can type in, uh, like, artisan bread, go in baddie, G-O-I-N-B-A-T-T-Y, and they'll bring up our uh, YouTube videos. So uh, that, that is uh, uh, If you need to know how to make sandwich bread, I do that one. Oh, my gosh. Um, she yeah. has so many recipes on the line. It's just crazy. Yeah. So by all means, stay tuned, and we'll see you in a little while, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And as always, bye. Turn off. There you go. There's your finger. 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 Turn it off. Turn it off. It won't go off. There it is.